My name is Anton Oprin. I'm a fashion photographer. I've been shooting fashion on the runway for more than 20 years and been shooting New York Fashion Week uh, since 1996. We shot film that time. And right now we continue to shooting internationally, New York, London, Milan, Paris, Miami, Los Angeles and Moscow. This is old badges. So we start, this was first seven and six fashion week in Bryant Park, uh, starting 1993. I did not shot 1993, but I start 1996. Then it's come to like seven and six Olympus fashion week, like Olympus with a seven and six credential in this. Uh, it's been like few years, 2004, 2005, and uh, then it's coming to Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. So every year you get in credential, then you get in like backstage passes like this to attend the show and shoot backstage. And um, it was a tremendous amount of the shows we shot. I shot all these years over 3 million images of runway and backstage. I've been shooting backstage for about 10 years for major magazines and I know every model, I know every designer personally, it was a like, tremendous experience for me, so, and I project all this my experience about the collection, about the design to front of the house later, how to shoot the runway shows with understanding of the fashion. That's a different, photographers have to be in fashion, have to understand how does it work to, to get a good shot. Let me tell you something about equipment. Uh, times change, equipment also change, I started shooting runway in 1996 and I shoot uh, film cameras, but I always been using Nikon cameras starting from this uh, Nikon F3, then F4, then F5 as a film cameras. We shoot with Nikon lenses that time. And then uh, about two, year 2000, Nikon introduced a first digital professional body, Nikon D1. Uh, D1. We did not use this because the pixel was a little bit like square. We've been staying away from this, just checking out. But then the Nikon released the first camera D1X with uh, excellent re resolution and CCD sensor. We started using it in runway 2001, I believe, in New York City. And bugs just arrived in September. This was the first release. And we get right to the shows. Uh, you know, the funny thing, I still have this body, D1X, over there. And it's still working. If I want to shoot this camera right now, 2013, so it was 12 years. Only the thing is the batteries. Batteries little like you know take some uh, some energy to to recharge. This battery is like was like a problem. So we, we keep the batteries in the pocket like a spare. They like you know can can be good only for 800 shots. But if I charge this battery right now, put the lens on this camera, I can still shoot. We get a new cameras like D3 right now with the longer lenses, but if you see the body, it's approximately the same. It's not much change in the design, but it's a lot of changes inside. There's a lot of change in the quality. Quality, quality is amazing, and I highly recommend you to use a professional cameras like this. Some photographers use it Canon. It's also good cameras, but it's different. So I believe now I can get this some unique features I can talk about this later but for now I just want to say thank you for Nikon just uh, letting us use some bigger lenses some very advanced features fast cameras so we can capture the best moment during the New York Fashion Week and Fashion Week in Milan and Paris as well every photographer been dreaming to just get to shoot in high fashion and supermodels but it's not so easy like it looks like right now Everybody who bought a small digital camera, they think like they are photographers and they try to get the uh, pictures in automatic. Automatic program, it's nothing wrong with this, but the thing is, so when the lighting changed and the dresses could be black, or white or something, um, you need to adjust it manually. You need to get your eye working with the camera, not only just pressing the bottom. Camera is very important, but you are a photographer, you have to work closely with the scene with the models, with the fashion, what you see to get professional results. My recommendation for the young photographers, this could be study. First, you need some knowledge. You need to know your equipment. You need to know what uh, shutter speed, aperture, what this could bring you, you can shoot manual, understand what kind of lenses. If you don't own your own equipment, you can rent for the fashion week, but you need to know how to use it. 
Second advice, just find somebody like photographer, established photographer who already been shooting for a long time. Ask to assist this photographer, just, you know, load the files, shoot some second camera, third camera and shows or some smaller shows for established photographer. Just follow the guidance and advice and just try to get your first high quality professional picture. And the third thing you need to do, you need to look over the fashion magazine, look what the standard is, what other photographers producing. And then you look in your images and look something like other guys doing, you'll see the difference. So learn about fashion. If you want to be fashion photographer, try to understand who is the designer, what type of collection they do, what's this about, what the inspiration is, what's important details is about. And just work with the crew. One photographer usually cannot shoot everything on runway. If you center straight camera, you can shoot full body three quarters and maybe some beauty shots. Sometimes you can sh go down and shoot the shoes at the end. But also, if you stay in the side, it's not a bad position. You can get three quarter shots, you can get some dynamic stuff, but it's a little bit more difficult to get excellent shots. Also from the side, you can go to details to the bag and shoes when the models turn on 45 degrees, but you can be very, very sharp shooter, so you need experience. Shooting side camera is more difficult sometimes than shooting straight. I can tell you one story, it's happened like about year 2005 in New York Fashion Week. I've been shooting for Venture of Big Magazine. I believe I've been a great shooter at that time. I'm staying like almost in the middle of platform, doing my runway stuff like straight there. And when I look in the pictures, when they load in the computer, so it looks fantastic. And I know some other crews like from Italy, from France shooting over there. and. One of the guys been shooting always like in a better position than me. And what show he been late. And uh, I've been looking at him and say, oh, you're far away from the center. So probably I'm going to do the better picture than you. But when the show was over, we start loading the files. He was assisting. His job was loading the files. I was a single photographer working without the crew at that time. I just look at his pictures and say, wow, how this guy can manage shoot better than me from the more side position and you know it's all about the equipment the guy get experience who gets angle position to the runway but he using longer lens like 300 or 400 millimeters and just get models out of the gates in a plain white background instead of what i've been doing i've been following the models all the runway get all these difficult different angles and the models came out of uh, of the gate i miss misses this moment so because i've been busy with something else so overall my shots looks like really mess and his shots look very constant, very sharp, like playing to the background. He crop it a little bit and it's coming probably to one of the best European magazines. So I learned it's always the way to improve your quality in your pictures, your equipment, and you have to look forward to get into it. I created a big professional team of the photographers. I grew them up and right now we can cover it in almost entire fashion week is 98% of the shows. I want to show around how it was the shoots during New York Fashion Week. I introduce you to the key photographers who's been shooting runway for a long time, for mid-range years, like five, six years, and also photographer who just start. And you'll see the different opinion. You judge for yourself what's the really fashion, what's the really fashion photography during the Fashion Week, how difficult it is and how important it is for entire world. So try, try, try hard to get into there and get the best shots. And if you need help, ask. You can find me on the Facebook. My name is Anton Operin. Or just ask me a question or just go to our website, fashionstock.com. Go to our archive, see the old shots, see the new shots, see the, what's changed. Check the different international scenes, different designer. And I welcome you. I wish you like you could be like me, like all time ago, like 17 years ago when I start. So it's a long way and I'm planning to continue this. Even like it's very little money, it's, you cannot make much, but you know, I love what I do and I'm going to stay there. So see me around, see you around, you know, thank you.